Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now, today, we're going to be discussing my antidepressant, which is Vortioxidine. Now, I've been on this medication for around three years now, and honestly, there's one side effect that I get that really affects me. So without further ado, let's get in with the video. In with the video. On with the video. So yes, yeah, so I take Vortioxetine, I take 20 milligrams of it at night, and basically it works really well as an antidepressant. I mean, since I started it, I haven't been suicidal, but the short run of it and the title of the video probably gives it away, I struggle with one side effect, and that is vomiting. Now, I don't deliberately throw up my medication. This happened to me tonight, which is why I'm making this video. I took my medication and all I could feel was this overwhelming urge to throw up in my stomach. And the problem is that when I do throw up my medication, I throw up all my medication. Because I only take I take all my psych meds at night. So my haloperidol, my clonazepam, my vortioxetine, and my lithium, my trazodone. I throw it all up and means I don't get sleep, get sleep very easily. Now, vomiting is a definite side effect of vortioxetine. It usually goes away after two to three weeks. However, I've found this to be an ongoing problem. I'll have, mo I'll have weeks, months where I don't throw up at all, then I'll throw up like three nights in a row, and it just sucks so badly. So what can I do about this? Well, the obvious one would be to stop taking vortioxetine. The trouble is, I can't do that because there is no other antidepressant I can try been on them all so I can't just change my antidepressant because I've been on them all remembering that I've been on antidepressants since the age of 12 it's the whole reason like, the, the thing that triggered a manic episode I've been on a lot of antidepressants and I've had side effects with all of them I'd say the best one that I've been on was probably venlafaxine extended release um, I took that in the morning and it didn't get rid of my suicidal thoughts it, it reduced my anxiety a lot which was helpful but yeah vomiting with vortioxetine is a problem another solution there is is i get referred back to a psychiatrist they ask him to, if i can reduce the dose back down to 10 milligrams i don't particularly want to do that because I'm, i've only just been discharged from mental health services i don't want to immediately need them again because it'll look like oh she can't cope maybe she needs to be under us longer which i don't want i've waited so many years to be stable enough to be discharged from mental health services. So I'm not gonna let one little pill dictate that I need to be back under them, if that makes sense. Because it's taken me a long time to get to that point. It's taken a decade. And I don't wanna step back into how I used to be. I don't want to stop taking the antidepressant because it does help. I'm, I'm just in a bit of a st stucky situation. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I know it's not really a video, it's just a ramble, but I had to talk to someone and my camera's the only person I've got to talk to. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you're new, subscribe, join the growing family, turn notifications on, hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment of a question and I'll answer it in a Q&A. If you are interested in Q&As, I do them over on my Instagram, so go follow me over there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.